Okay, this is uh, video number two, Naomi and James uh, talking. James teaching me how to use Vox Commando. Uh, so we're going to continue from where we left off, which was I had created a new command to open a browser window, open Vox Commando form uh, in a browser. Uh, and now we're going to do something that maybe more people are likely to do. So uh, you were talking about cloning the yeah. ability to clone rather than having to create from scratch a command. Yeah, so we're going to modify this command by first cloning it and then making changes. So I've cloned it, but cloning is exactly the same. So it's open forum and the phrases are still open forum, show me forum. But we're going to change this to open Wikipedia. Yeah, and all the actions will be the same too. So we're basically going to change everything. Okay. <laughs> so first I'm going to rename it open Wikipedia. Uh, and then obviously I don't want to go to the forum anymore, so I'm going to change this to Wikipedia. Um, and we can test to see that that's what it's going to do. It's Firefox, Wikipedia. This is the home page of Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what? <laughs> so it's... Um, you have to change the phrase now because yeah. it's the same as the old command. Okay, that's a good point. It'd be easy to overlook that. Um, Wikipedia. Okay, so now I have to save that before I can test it, right? Yeah, and close the window. Close the window. So we think that's going to work. You can do a quick restart to be sure. Just to be sure. So if it doesn't seem to work uh, when you try to test the command, you can do a quick restart just to make sure that it's really emptying up the cache and rebuild, yeah, rebuilding so. the whatever group you were yeah. changing. Okay, so let's test it. I'm going to turn Vox Commando on so that it's listening. And uh, what did I say? Uh, open Wikipedia. And generally, it's good to pause before you start a new command. Just it, it understood you that time, but you said, "What did I say?" Open Wikipedia, uh -huh. and there's no command with the phrase "What did I say?" Open Wikipedia. Right. It's a common mistake that people made. Okay. So you need that pause so it knows where a command is beginning. Right. Makes sense. Okay. So that worked great, uh, but that's pretty boring. It's not very. I would still have to then grab my keyboard and look something up. So is there a way that I could actually uh, search Wikipedia with my voice or something, look something up within Wikipedia? Yeah, so op open it up again. You can use the that, voice command. That command? Uh, open Wikipedia up. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> open Wikipedia. <laughs> it's because you said open Wikipedia. Yeah. It's wide open. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, turn VC off. Turn VC off. Okay. That's not listening anymore. Okay. Yeah, so let's just do a sample search. I assume you want to do it in English. Yeah, it's because I'm in Quebec. It defaults to and French. Let's just say George Bush or something. Whatever. It doesn't matter what you choose. Which George Bush? We'll see. Anyways, okay, so the funny. reason we did that is to get to see what the Earl looks like mm -hmm. now. So you want to copy this. Okay. And edit the command. So I'll go back into where the command is mm -hmm. and edit this. And paste the Earl in. Well, oh, here. Right. Okay. Now, what you wanted to be able to do is um, every time you say the command, you want to be able to have something other than George Bush put in there. Uh huh. So I'd be replacing the end of this URL with some other phrase, uh, some other... Yeah, so we're going to use what's called the payload. Okay. And uh, basically you put in a, a one in curly brackets. Here? To replace the search term where it says George Bush. Oh, we're here. I, would, uh -huh. I take this out and I put in curly brackets one and that refers yeah. to uh, first payload, one, so that, one payload. That curly brackets one at the time when you issue the command is going to get replaced with the first payload. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and so I could, what's this? Yeah, this looks could, like I could test something. Yeah, so you could 
But to make it more fun, you could put a different search in this time. Just uh, and it, this would be equivalent to me saying something and it understanding what I'm saying and or trying to understand what I'm saying and and appending it to um, to this URL. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's say uh, uh, Michelle Obama. Sorry to be so American in my choices. Um, so save and execute, and that'll test it. Yeah. Yay. Okay. So, so now you need to tell it how you're gonna get that payload into the into the command. Okay. Do I need to? So I'll just okay here. Yeah. Or do I... So you do this. Anything that has to do with how you say the command or the the input for the command uh -huh. is done in the tree. Okay. So what you want to do is have another item below open Wikipedia or you might actually want to say something else like search Wikipedia for okay yeah that's true or Wikipedia search or uh -huh. whatever makes sense to you so that's what you say first search Wikipedia for okay, okay. and now we're gonna use a payload that's uh, called a dictation payload dictation regular and that is means you can just uh, speak in English so uh, so that would be I, I could say anything to it and it would interpret what I'm saying um, and count that as a, a payload the way that it yeah so when you when it actually recognizes your command whatever you say after search Wikipedia for uh -huh. will become payload one okay so so we'll try it now right mm -hmm. so save close I'm just gonna do this again quick restart be sure. Search Wikipedia for Michelle Obama. <laughs> Michelle Loma. <laughs> Maybe there is a Michelle Loma. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna try something else. <laughs> you leave this open. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Search Wikipedia for elephants. Yay! We are done. Awesome. You have mastered <laughs> payloads. It's genius. <laughs> it's genius. So there you go. A simple uh, demonstration of how you too can uh, use payloads, in particular the payload dictation with a regular. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's it for this mini tutorial. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.